It wasn't phenomenal. It wasn't phenomenal. Some you think it was my it was per nominum. It was per nominum. Per nominum one, per nominum two, per nominum three. It wasn't phenomenal one phenomenal. No, it was per nominum. You know it was it was per nominum. I don't remember Jerick don't mean shit. Per nominum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check, check. Back in the building. Another episode. Elephant in the Room podcast. Your boy C6. And your boy Dizzle's in the house. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you get me. Have, have, have you lined me up properly, brother? You're good, man. I don't even know why I moved. I just feel like you tried to sabotage me. I'm all right. All right, because what are you saying? All right, so basically, the screen was a bit musty last week. No, but it was musty. It was, but you know what it is, bro? You know what it is? <sighs> you know what it is? You got to do some work. So I kind of thought, you know what? If you ain't gonna help, then musty Sorry. for your blows and skirt. Oh, is that big, up all the, big up all of the um, big up all of those that have been liking, sharing, subscribing. Big up all of them. And you know what? Before we go anywhere, I've got to say this. This I need your concentration. For Sorry, this. I'm trying to look for the. I'm do, while you're doing, I'm no, doing no, admin. No, 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 no. You this, don't this, do admin. This is important. This is important. All right, come, come. This is important. All right, go on. So we've done a lot of promising over the past, right? And. Listen, people, it, it is what it is, isn't it? We can't go back in time. We've apologised. But what we're going to do, we've got some brand new merch. We've got some brand new merch. What we're doing here, T-shirts, they're, they're out. I'm going to put it up on the screen right now. Yeah? Yeah. What we're doing here, T-shirts. Now, we're selling them. However, those that we promised, dinner, T-shirts, and stuff in the past... Mm-hmm. We will send you a T-shirt. Yeah. We will send you one. So, please send your information here. Log in right now, or send us a DM on the Elephant in the Room Instagram. And if you're on the Patreon, just send us a message on Patreon, and you will get your T-shirt. But also, you can purchase your T-shirt. All right. So just get. What's the T-shirt say? What we're doing here. Okay. What yeah. we doing here? What we doing here, man? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that is with it. a question mark. With a question mark. What okay. Are we doing here? I know you're dyslexic. What are we doing here? What are we doing here? What are we doing here? Yeah. yeah. So that is it. So um, yes. So again, can we get some teachers saying, "Can I say something to you?" <laughs> yeah, and that, that's your thing, isn't it? Yeah. Can I say something? To you? Yeah, we'll get them as well. Yeah. All right, cool. So yeah, that's it. Public servant announcement over. Big up yourself, people. Mm-hmm. You're done. No, you're done. No. And also remember the journey taking place the 28th of December. How's that going? Talk about the journey. What's that about? You just pull it up. You ain't told me nothing about the journey. Who's on it? What DJs? What, so is it a different? Is it different doing, from yeah, the last doing, ones? Yeah. The, so the last the last year we did the ball, um, the comedy show on ball, where you come and smashed up the place. Yeah. Yourself for that. This year we're not doing a comedy show. We're doing a casino royale. So we got, what's that? We've hired a casino. So we have got casino games in there, roulette table, blackjack table. We have got casino vibes. We have got some journey money, so you can gamble away the journey money. You don't have to gamble away your your own money. And um, the person with the most money at the end, so everyone will get a certain amount of money as they enter, play all the games, do some vibes, or whatever. And then um, at the end, the person with the most money will get a prize. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. So we're doing that. We got um, we just released the live <coughs> today. We got we got, we got a couple top London DJs in the building. Yeah. And, um, so what yeah. role do I play? Nothing. Huh? I don't get nothing. No bringing nothing. No, this this one here. We're not doing a comedy show. And but I'm not. I'm not just a comedian. No, I'm everything. You, I'm you a could, dancer. <laughs> I could. DJ, can I DJ a set? You can, yeah. You can, so the the set before we open, you can do that one. No, differently. I need you to be there. You're you're 100. You are. You I don't want to be there for free. You're a special guest. Special, special guest. We're gonna do meet and greet. Meet and greet. Meet and greet with Dizzle, and um, so they can come party, do the casino games, and then meet Dizzle. I'm not coming. You're not forward into the dance. Yeah, I'm not coming. You ain't listen. Hold on, but you got the Dizzle's Madhouse. I don't even see my name on there. I'm not coming. I was the resident Dizzle's Madhouse DJ. I'm not coming. All when the problems was happening and you never want to PM me, I, I forwarded. Yeah? The, the, the Dizzle's Madhouse. I was there. And now you, 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 you've, you've run off and you got you get rich and switch. New DJ, this, that, gone to Manchester. What's going on? But I'm still forwarding to that. So when is that? When are we going to Manchester? The it's been cancelled. Huh? It's been cancelled. Is it just for me it's been cancelled or has it been cancelled? It's been cancelled. Okay, cool. What about the one in London? Cancelled too. Seriously? 
serious? Yeah, all of them cancelled. Okay. Never mind. All right, let's move on. <laughs> I said never mind. <laughs> uh, move on. Let's move on. We don't want to dwell on it. If it's been cancelled, we, we won't dwell on it. All right, big up. All right, let's move on. <laughs> What's the number? <laughs> never mind. Come here. <laughs> Oh God! So what's happened over the weekend? What did you do over the weekend? Oh, this weekend, um, a couple little vibes, party vibes. Yeah. Yeah, a couple, uh, a couple of par- parties and <coughs> nothing special. Okay. Yeah, and little vibes. Yeah. Okay. Did you see this film, Mr. Loverman? Or you ain't seen it yet? I didn't even even heard of the film. To be honest, I haven't even heard of it. Like, is it like in the cinema film? Forget it on Netflix. Forget it. Forget oh, it. Just tell me, like. Let's is forget it. Netflix it. Thing? Forget I can it. watch it on Netflix if it's on Netflix. Forget it. Forget it. Anyway, we're talking about big up DJ AG. Big up AG online. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, AG know. online. Big up you. You understand? I see. Not. You know what? I rate him because for some reason, all that everybody just wants to get on it now. Yeah. If you're somebody's child in the music yeah. industry, yeah, they're on. It. Yeah. Listen, you're you're coming there. He's got. He's got established artists and he's got non-established artists. Yeah. Now originally it was just him playing music. Yeah. A couple of people. I think Daddy Freddie might have been the first one that mm. kind of went viral, but it's gone crazy. I'm yeah. talking, I see my brothers anchor, anchor around yeah. to be on it. Yeah, yeah. The MC and everybody's want an AG wheeler. I see Crucial Robbie. Yes, it, yeah, yeah. He did good. He did good. He did good. It makes me want to go down there and yeah. spot some bars. <laughs> I'm telling you, um, it's good. I've seen, yeah, there's some Skepta. Yeah. You know, all of them. Yeah, he had some big, chip, big names yeah, down there. Big names. But... I gotta give, I gotta give um, the AG online character of the year has to go to Raga Rugby. Oh come on, man! He he made it. Has it. to go to Raga Rugby. He made it, brother. He is. This is he's. This is Sting. He doesn't. This ain't no live in the middle of Brixton when he's there. You know? mm-hmm. This is Sting. Entrance, mask, crown, red carpet. Mm-hmm. Man, pull the car up. See them cover up the number plate and everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, that's going to go viral. Pull up the car, step out. Yeah. And no, but I, I, but you know what? What I like with Raga, he. You're thinking, how come he's coming out all the time? But you want to see him every time because he beats the last one that he does. When he comes out, you think, oh my god, this is sick, crazy. Give me his props. But then he beats it again. Yeah. He perfor- Listen, performance wise, you can't, you cannot take nothing away from him. Performance wise, energy. The man came um, in a shopping trolley. He's. In, <laughs> yeah, the one that stands yeah. like, like the Undertaker. Um, he's got, he's definitely got charisma. But Wagwan for the lyrics. Bro. Can I say something to you? <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> Wagwan for the lyrics. He has perfected the art of not finishing his lyrics. No, no one ever can't do that. Who could do that? Man say. Yeah, that's the really, If you don't know, if you don't know the words to the song, you're you're a dickhead. <laughs> it's your fault. It's your fault. You're supposed to sing along to me. This is my yeah. show. Like, but imagine singing. I used to see him at Vauxhall Market when I used to get the CD. Them he was down there, nothing. Uh. Vauxhall Market. Vauxhall Market. And he got v- <laughs> v- viral prints. Yeah, because he's, he's been viral enough time, not just because of that. He's yeah, been yeah, viral yeah, enough. Yeah, yeah. He's, uh, you know the, you know what gets me. Eh? I don't I I don't really, I don't know how he pops up on my face. I don't follow him, but you know like. He will show like a pair of shoes and say, "Yeah, man, there are five of these. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, five of them here. Yeah. Five? Why? Why are this one pair of foot? Yeah, there? but he's got his. But you can see he's not repeating his clothes. He's. Do, you understand? Yeah. He's enjoying yeah, himself. Remember, me. a lot of people um, out there. I'm not saying he ain't got no talent. Cause he's got talent in in his performing. You understand what I'm saying? But enough people like on the internet are famous for like my man's famous on the internet with millions. Of, you understand? Yeah, I think, yeah, I hear that. So I we can't, we, so we see a no, man but, doing no, his thing. Listen, 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 because as an artist, yeah, do you not feel like there's a little bit that takes away from artistry? Do you get what I'm saying? Like, because firstly, this me do you remember remix? That's not him. But That's not his tune. I know, but could I say something to you? If you notice, when a lot of Jamaican DJs come over here and, and they're on the stage, they will chat next month. Well, you know the lower one that we really got a lot of tunes. They will chat a next man's tune on stage. You know what I mean? So it's not like do, you, but it's, enough people don't remember that tune. It's only you because you're old school DJ. Enough people do you remember? You get me? Yeah. Enough people don't tune yeah. after tune. Yeah. It's after yeah. it's. Do you remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's mad. It's mad. You understand? Either way, 
either way, as I say, charisma wise, you can't go around him. Yeah. yeah I, I want to hear like him actually finish the lyrics himself. No, no, no. Voxel market, Voxel. Yeah. And he, he doesn't even say it. He just says Voxel. Remember, it's one tune he's doing. The whole tune. The whole tune is Voxel market, Voxel market. Viral pins, viral pins, yeah. Married. And if you're not married, don't go yeah. <laughs> That's all in the one song. But he's that he's been on this AG about fifty times and done the same thing. And it's times. and it's slapped all the time. Well, I'll be honest. Well, people, he doesn't slap all the time. But you know, it does. Yeah, don't right, hate. Listen, don't listen, be a hater. Half of the people say, like, uh. they see the vibes and they take on to the energy. Yeah. Yeah. And the other half is calling him a puppy show, and that's who. But I read the comments. They were. Well, I, I was reading being positive. Brother, there's there's equal because he's not doing then he's not saying anything, he's not doing or saying anything. He's just come. He's, he's just got the he's doing the the entrance, the this big grandiose entrance, and then as you said, if you don't know the lyrics, so imagine you don't know the lyrics. This is your first introduction to him. Then what? But you know it's sad as well for me. It's not sad, but it's crazy. Like because I used I know Daddy Fred in it. Mm. Used to go out with my with my older sister. So when and the sound Monday, so I know Daddy Freddy from when he, you get me when he's in his peak. So when you look at him like that now, you're thinking, yeah, "What did I know?" You tell let me tell you how I know Daddy Freddy. I'm not from, from when Guinness Book of I'm them, you, my know. promotion time, you know. No, but you you're a lot older than me in it. So you why you say a lot? It's not, not a lot. You no, you're, dickhead. No, no, you're, no, but you were big man when I was picking. So no, that no, wasn't C six. <laughs> You fool! I was just in secondary school. You was in primary. You, was big you understand? I was in secondary. You had when I had picnic, when I was when I was born. You fool! <laughs> no, I'm joking. No, but I remember him from the Guinness Book of Records. I remember before that. Yeah, yeah, and then and then and then before that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually know Daddy Freddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I know him personally. So he was around like when like sound system culture. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause I used to remember as a little you. I used to, yeah, I used to go to the dance them yeah, and see yeah, them yeah. and there. You get me? So there you go. So to see him. Boil down like that is mad. Yeah, and it's and it's and then he, and then he was on the live and he said, "Rego, like, I'm hungry, I want some money." Like, and then you gave him money though. I know, but you said this made some money. But the thing is, he, you know what? It is what it is, and he's he's in, he's he's there. He's doing his thing. Like, yeah. Um, oh, Harry Toddler was on there, isn't it? Yeah. But the greatest thing I like, it made him. It's like it kickstart something back in him. Mm. If you know what I'm saying, like he. I'm not saying you can make a tune right now. Freddy. Yeah. The thing is, he's actually talented. Yes, he's talented. And he can he can write the rhythm good, you know. Yeah, but even though, but saying that, all right, let's go back to the Guinness Book of Records. Not rubbing that is because it's, it's, he didn't say a word. <laughs> he, didn't say, he, he didn't say shit. You never said this shit, Daddy Freddy. Pernam and them, right? When I was a kid, I, I say Pernam and them. Yeah. But they're saying phenomenon, yeah. No, they're saying phenomenon. Phenomenon, phenomenon, phenomenon. Yeah, it's not phenomenon. No, it's phenomenon. No, no, but phenomenon's not a word. So the word is phenomenon. Like to you to get for you to be in the Guinness Book of Records, you have to say words. You can't go. You have to say. Can I say something to you? Can you put that out? Like, find that clip and 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 any it. any. I'm not saying I'm promising, but anybody could give us the word for word what you said. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's apparently they'll get clothing for the whole year. Phenomenon. Come with it. All record breakers, massive. We love you. Hear this. Hey, pin a mina 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 and one. Daddy Freddy at the microphone stand. Pin a mina 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 and two. Come now, come now. Pin a mina 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 pin a mina
That's what yeah, we do. What we doing there? Bro, <laughs> he was in the Guinness Book of Records like 1991. <laughs> Wait, 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 what it's on YouTube. YouTube. Where, how? Type in YouTube. I bet I could type it in now. No, no don't worry. We'll find oh, it. Oh, Danny we'll Freddy get, get his book on record. We'll find it. If it's there. It's I there. Mean, there. Pernamon and Yeah. All right, cool. Pick up Pernamon and But he didn't say a word. Yeah, Pernamon and He will not got away with that now. No. There were some artists back then. Because remember, there, there's no... The fast flow was... Them, remember, yeah. right, sorry to cut you. Hold you on, sorry, hold on. Didn't, didn't Papa San used to say that? Yeah, everybody said was, that was a DJ thing. Even even so when it says, look, pain, I'm in, 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 we're have to, all right, cool. Because we're have to, it's per <laughs> All right, it's phenomenal. 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 Where's per though? Phenomenal. It's not phenomenal. phenomenal. You're, you're, trying, you're trying to help phenomenal. them, though. Phenomenal. You're trying to put words in them, though. There's no phenomenal. Hey, phenomenal. No, no. 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 phenomenal. It's P Yeah? Hold on, hold on. There was no phenomenal. What was the one that. Um, Unless they're going to pee them enough, I'm not pee them. You understand? I'll mix it in. <laughs> you know what? As you're saying this here, do you remember um, Mr. Benji? Yeah. Peen, peen, peen. Yeah, you know yeah. what? Me have the peen. What? Don't tell me. I was a DJ back in the days, or not? What did? What? Like a lyrics? A DJ. lyrics DJ. Give me one of your lyrics. I was called Preacher Boy. Give me one of your lyrics. Oh, fuck, I can't you remember. Must have one of your I did, but what was it, man? I, I just as a special one. I did. Can't remember it now. A when, proper. When, when we, my dad I'm talking about you, man. My dad time, man. Sound, yeah. And we went to one of his Odeas. Me and my brother, yeah. We went to the Odea, and um, we wrote a lyrics, yeah. And we, you know, when your kids on. You get the maddest forward, innit? And we 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 had a uh, <laughs> we had a lyrics. Um, don't touch it. Hey, boy, don't want touch it. Hey, boy, don't want touch it. Don't. Yeah. Um, it look like some boy them don't know nothing yet. Sit down on the rhythm and we sit down steady. So, I'm so yeah, I remember one of my lyrics. I remember you saying it now. I don't know the whole lyrics. I remember the yeah, the, yeah. the chorus hey, was tap now where me live, tap now where me like, tap now where me, tap now where me, tap now where me. <laughs> Tap now where me lever, tap now where me like her, tap now where me, I where me, I where me lover. That's all. That was one of my lyrics. Tap now where I live, tap now where I like, tap them, tap them, tap now where we love. And I used to just freestyle the afterbeat. So I can't remember. But I know that was the base. And you would only really do it in Tottenham. Yes. And get a mad forward. Mad. You understand what I'm saying? No matter where you go. Yeah. Yeah. All day or something. Yeah. You catch what I'm doing? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I'll say, sure, I'm going to live at that. And then you get the wheel up. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah, I'm yeah. gone now. Pass the bike. Yeah. 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 I remember the Pinamanan blood. Don't have a, right. The Pinamanan was, it was the one. But big up AG, as I said, blood. Cause All right, cool. This is the name of this episode, you know. Phenomenon. Phenomenon. It's not that, because people won't get it better. Yeah. yeah? So, <coughs> so now the Phenomenon Pinam. No, it's not It's not called that. You big fucking up AG, idiot. Big up AG. You understand? <coughs> anyway, let's get you at least one. We call it. Because, um, yeah, hold on. Well, I had something here as well that I wanted to ask you, to be fair. Where is it? Where is it? Where did I write it? Okay, yeah. My thing is because someone asked me, this was a true life situation question. You were with a woman for three months. No, more than three months, six months. You know, good. Perfect woman. You understand? Not perfect, but everything's yeah, yeah. good. Everything's going swing, swing. Sweet, yeah, as it should be. Honeymoon period is part of But she never tell you, but you take her out one night and cheer your bridges. Look at your survival. You wouldn't? You wouldn't? You would have? You might, yeah, yeah. I'm like, where are you? Like, why are you in that? Like, no, you'd be like playing it down. I'm like, could you, you get me? Yeah, I mean, it's cool. Yeah, because cool. yeah, you don't know what they keep, you want to hear what they have to say first. Yeah. And I'm like, well, you know, I was like, back, used to battery that back in the days, you know, used to be a gang banger. You understand? And then like, like they, and they laugh like, right, anyway, like we say, and they look at you like, like, what, can we do this now? <laughs> Sorry. Like, what we're doing here? <coughs> but you play it off like, nah, nah, nah. Like, allow it, joke it off, nah, man, I'm me and I tonight. You get me? When you go home, how would you feel? And what would you say to her? I'd be deflated, man. My ego would be, my ego would get the better of me. I couldn't take that. 
I'm not saying that my way is the right way, but I couldn't take that shit at all. My ego, my ego can't. It's not strong enough. But that's that's not my good to have ego. Not strong enough for that. Ross Club. Not, <laughs> no, I can't take that. My ego cannot take that. <coughs> I keep it real. I understand at this age, I'm single man. At this age, any woman I get with is gonna have a past. Luggage. It's gonna have a past, and I'm okay with that. The only thing that I can't really manage is if your past is in my vicinity. You get what I'm saying? So, when your past is in my vicinity, then it's going to be too much for me to really deal with. So, when I say that, if you were, you could be with someone, you could have been with a you that I know, you know. I don't mind if you've been mm. with someone I know. Yeah. You know my man from, oh, yeah, them man. Oh, fuck it. You get what I'm saying? I don't care. But, can't be brethren of mine that I'm going to be around or family members then it's respectfully, I'm just going to have to part that, with I know that. That's 100%. But what if you didn't know the guys? I don't know. But then again, then I don't know them, man. I don't know them. I don't know them. So you still stay with her? Because, bro, listen. Knowing that she used to be an ex gal that used to be in ba- gang yeah, bangs. Yeah, 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 yeah. But then there's probably, listen, mo- a lot of people go through some fucked up times in their life and do and act out and play out some fucked up ways. If she's fully healed and she moves proper and she's... For, for me to take her seriously in this stage of my life where I am, how I am, she has to be she has to be on point. Mm-hmm. So if that's a part of what made her be where she is, then it is what it is. If I don't know them, then fuck it. It is what it is, isn't it? We don't know, can't hurt you. Well, I don't, yeah, it's not really. Like, it is what it is. To be honest, it's, there's going to be there's gonna be sh- other shit you don't know. There's going to be shit about you she don't know. True. It's only issue for me is if it's in my... So when you said your dog's them... Because a couple strangers can't come up to me and tell me that. Mm-hmm. I'm not the kind of guy that you can come and... Mm. You think so I could be with my girl and some random person I don't know come and say, yo, hey, your girl, I used to badge you that. Brother, you're disrespecting me, innit? We're going to have a problem. Yeah, yeah. As a man, man to man, we've got a problem because you can't see this woman with me and disrespect me like this. Yeah. If it's a brethren coming up to me saying, bro, you know I've got love for you. Just letting you know. <laughs> that's the, That was the line back. <laughs> that, that was the line back, bro. Everybody. Wow. Everyone. I had my dad running one. Yeah, oh God. And see what you're saying is super accurate. Cause I've been through that. Every man's probably been with a girl that's had a past. Well, most and past, past, past. I've been past the back. Yeah. You catch what I'm dealing with? But I I say that I was with the man, two stories with the man. Then I was supposed to batch you one girl, and I took her for myself. And then that's the start. Full love with her. Full love with the girl. You understand what I'm saying? Because pe- deep down, people are people are people, innit? But what they brought me? Shit. Yeah, but I'm thinking. I knew. She, I knew what she was. I knew that them man they batched it. I was cool with it. We, not like no, not not. But yeah, they did. You <laughs> still trying to justify it? This is like thirty years later, but say no. Well, when I say battery, it was more like. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it was. I was trying to. Yeah. They battery. I yeah. took. A, I stole her from the battery. I had yeah. taken it from myself. Yeah. Yeah. Don't yeah. Need to be doing this. But it was the. T- but it, nice. but I mean, no, we was getting on good. But it was the same thing. What you're saying. I'm bucking up, man. I'm taking her out. I'm bucking up, man. Saying, right, right. Yeah, you know, he's a, me and the man. And then I uh, call. Then I'm, everywhere I'm going. But it was when I'm seeing the caliber of man. That's the one. Listen, I'm gonna tell you something. That day, your someone's ex can fuck it up for them. For me. That someone's ex can fuck it up for me. I see, like, oh yeah, I used to what? him. Like, I, I, I'm gonna be real. That's happened. A, that's happened. That was the clincher for me a couple times. on my mum's grave. That was the clincher for me. I'm better than I'm when a I better saw person one the, one little short. Really? What's what's? All right, forget the looks. Forget looks and stuff. Yeah. When you know this guy, <laughs> you know his status. His status around other men. Yeah. He is weak. Weak. He's weak. He's the Full little weak. man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? And what? Oh, yeah. he's a real cluffy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you got something over me. No, it's like now I'm left to look like you don't even have a type. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah this yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. This or, or like, oh, okay. How do you see me? <laughs> if he's your king, how do you see me? Fuck. You know, I know. Hell. One time, there, I, I speak like that for real. Enough. I met this woman that had an idiot ex. And yeah. we know him as a full time idiot. Clefford, Clefford. Yeah, proper idiot. Yeah. Anyway, she was telling us about who her, her man was or whatever. And she basically said yeah. that was the best relationship she ever had. Mm-hmm. Like, 
I'm just dumbfounded. Say, I know. How? I know. This guy, how? But then you say that, and then there's some people that are like, have you ever seen someone, and then they tell you, oh, yeah, my kids, and you think, oh, God. God. <laughs> kids. Yeah. Like, you got, a, like, what? You actually got children, how? Yeah. No, can I say something to you? It's rude for me to say that, but there was one woman, yeah, on the school run, and she, I don't know how to say it, like, I don't want to disrespect no, but have you seen, do you, have you seen um, do you know Baron Greenback? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna Google that and put it, in, put it in the clip though. Baron Greenback from Danger Mouse. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put the picture. In. She looked like Baron Greenback, and she was going to the school with two beautiful kids. Yeah, someone, someone, two beautiful kids, there, two beautiful kids. Someone's there. She might have used to be beautiful. No, just no way. No way. No way. No. No, no, no. Let's, 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 let's no. No. Was Baron. I don't. That's the law. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying they're beautiful kids. I'm not this, no one's kids, now, am I? Beauty's in the eye of the beholder. But when I say this woman, I said to myself, it has to be a yard man or somebody. If it works. Works. <laughs> this is works right here. You know you can see the works and you look at the man like you're nasty. No, bro. but you know what? Listen, let me tell you something. <coughs> I know. You know what's mad? When you look at some if we go by just looks and mm-hmm. stuff, some of the the most mash up looking people have have got the most relationship status, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm telling you, beauty's in the high, you said in the behind of the beholders. Yeah. So sometimes, yeah, because I also know. That some some of the most single women out on the streets right now are the hottest gals, and they're the most single, and they're gonna be the most single forever. Because it isn't about the look; the look isn't what gets you in the relationship. Trust and me. I think that's something that we gotta get right. And you know, and let's do what it says on a different topic. There's enough quote unquote beautiful girls out there, fully independent, got their shit together, ain't got a man. And they won't. And they would never get a man no. for a couple of days or a couple of months because they're too. W- women ain't women no more. They want to be bosses, and they want to tell man what to do now. You understand? I think there's a bigger. But they want a man, but but they want a pussy at the same. Do, do you get what I mean? I think there's a bigger thing to it than that. To be honest, because I feel society is kind of forced. I don't, I, it's forced every because it's made men pussies as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's forced this. What, yeah. It's forced the way we are now. The way the world is moving now. We're being forced to be this way. There's things there's things in this world right now that just mean you're an idiot, but one time meant you were a G. So, like, the world evolves so much here yeah, that if you stay stagnant and you don't grow with it, then you're stuck in the past. And if you grow with it, sometimes you can end up in a, be uncomfortable. No. So I like to be a traditional old school guy. I don't want to do internet dating. I don't want to do nothing like that. However, the world's moved so far that I'm, I'm inclined to meet less women at my age now, because of the way the new world has gone. People work from home. You don't even see people on the commute no more. And that's why the dating on the internet is wild. If you go on a date, you know what's women you'll see that you know that are looking man on the internet, like online. Yeah, but it's lazy. Crazy. But some of them, it's not lazy. It's because, oh, I don't get to know. I work from home. I, yeah, yeah. I, I want to meet someone, but I don't get to meet someone. Where would they go? But it's true. But they think the man them on there, they say, oh, these guys just want to fuck. Yes, they do. Because then you look up vulnerable, <laughs> vulnerable me. Any woman you see on any date is I could be Tinder, adult finder, or Ooh. plenty of adult finder, the big people then, <laughs> or plenty of fish if they're still about them type of place there. You're vulnerable. You've just, you've said to man them, listen, I'm vulnerable. You think so? You yes. Think, you think that's what he said? You don't think that it's just some people going with the time? No, they're vulnerable. They gonna fu- because I don't feel like. I honestly don't feel that. I, obviously, I have got no proof of this, but this is just from what I see. I'll be in a dance. I'll be DJing in the dance, and it looks like I, ha- I don't think I've seen a, a telephone come out and numbers be exchanged for for ages. So if man ain't chatting up woman in dance, where are they gonna get man? If man ain't chatting them up, but when, so what kind I'm, of? When's the last time you've been walking or driving down the road and you see a car pull up and holler at a woman? When? Yeah. So if it's not happening, where are these women supposed to find man? 
So, so basically, so the new thing is now get a catalog with man in it. Okay. Yeah, oh. but it's, but oh, yeah. about, but you're reading. You're reading the man's. St- <laughs> no, but you, listen, listen. You're speaking at it from. You're looking at it from your perspective and saying this is what women are doing. Cool. But for, all I'm saying is, what are the? I don't see my fellow man chatting a woman like one time. I don't see the chirps in happening again. Mm-hmm. Youngers, olders. I don't see it. So mm-hmm. if the men ain't chatting up the women, where are the women supposed to find the men? So. Your argument is cool. I understand it because that you're right. They and it might come across like they're sad, but if let's say a woman, one woman says I'm gonna go on the internet, and one woman says fuck the internet, I'm doing it traditional. She's outside. She's got a job. She commutes to. She's got a hobby. I don't know. Say say she does fucking taekwondo on a Tuesday. So she's outside and she raves or whatever. Yeah. Who's going to get, like, if this girl that's outside don't get spoken to by no one, and she looks good, because men are too scared. Man's waiting to find out her Instagram. Man's waiting to... F- so all of the action happens in a DM, but nothing happens in real life. Mm-hmm. And this woman is just sitting in her yard eating fucking Pringles <laughs> and getting <laughs> getting beers, pings, or whatever. Why, why should this woman not do what the first woman's doing? Yeah, but she's not. But no, I'm just saying. I hear that, but there's nothing serious coming out of it because the man's looking pum pum. You're put, everybody's putting their best foot forward. Yeah, everybody's it's fake. Yo, people, listen. Make sure you check out us on Patreon. That's www.patreon.com forward slash Elephant in the Room. Make sure you sign up. It's only three pounds a month. You get to watch the full episode. All right, because you can see we've just cut the episode short in it. So if you want to watch the full episode, jump onto Patreon. You also going to get some exclusive content over there you're also going to be the first dips on anything that we're doing you're going to be the first person or the first set of people that can get tickets and they're going to have the opportunities all right so jump over to patreon and make sure you follow us and you keep it elephant in the room all right so join us over on patreon and peace